Welcome back everyone, this is Stefan on the French Cooking Academy. This is episode number two on how journey on how to learn and cook a fish. The recipe of the day is the rainbow trout uh, with almond. It's called in French the truite aux amandes. Now that this recipe is quite simple, huh? so we're staying in a simple realm. But it's quite interesting because it's using the Meunier technique. So what is it exactly? It is simply a trout huh, that's going to be covered in flour and it's going to be cooked in the pan with a bit of butter, a bit of oil and then sprinkled with lemon juice and parsley, that's the Meunier style, to finish it off. You're just going to have to roast some flake almonds and sprinkle them over the fish and serve it with a simple side. It's a simple recipe but such a French classic, you really need to know it. Welcome back. So today, in our second recipe, we're going to learn two things. First off, how to cook a fish in the Meunier style, huh, with the flour, then pan fried with butter, parsley and lemon. And then how to change that simple version into something else by just doing an addition of roasted flake almonds, because this is how it works in French. But the most important to learn is the Meunier style of cooking. Huh? That can be done with sole, like uh, uh, you know, lemon sole or Dover sole. I could not find any. Or you can do it with trouts, like you have here. Uh, and the name actually, by the way, the name Meunier, huh? the appellation as we call it in, in France, where does it come from? Well, I dig that a little bit of history here. And it says that this is actually a Normandy a recipe it originated around there and the sole meunier was one of the favorite dish of Louis XIV and the Sun King. And the meunier actually is the wife of the meunier. The meunier was the guy that used to run the windmill that was grinding the wheat and make flour. So he had all this flour and the recipe came about because this meunier has you to cover your fish first in flour and then pan fry it. So apparently back in the days it came like this, we're going to put a little flour pan, fry it and it became a very popular dish again. So anyway, that's for the history. Now it's time to cook and learn all this technique in more details. Let's go. Let's start with a brief overview of the ingredients we're going to be using. Of course, you've got here the trout and this is a rainbow trout and they're very good and tasty. And we've got here some butter. It's actually an interesting, I found this at the market, it's a handmade butter. It's made at the market, so we're going to try that out. Flaked almonds, some flour, uh, we've got some lemon here and some parsley. Of course, we're going to be using a little bit of oil and some seasoning, salt and pepper. But that's about it. It's a very simple recipe. Now, the very first thing we're going to do before anything else is to clean uh, our deer trout here. As you can see, it's a nice fish. And so when you get it from the, uh, the shop or the market or wherever, uh, you would see that if you pass your hands like that, it's very slimy. Huh? Because the trout has got that kind of coating to let it slide very well on the water. Uh, so it is important to rinse it and almost brush it gently very well before we can uh, prep it up. Uh, so that's the first stage. Make sure there's no none of this slime thing. The second thing that's important when you get it from the shop, you will see here. You see these black bits here. Now these are some little uh, blood clots uh, that you need to scrap out and to make sure you got a really clean taste. So anywhere in your fish that you got these little black things uh, like these things, make sure you really remove them with a knife and grate it and make sure you just have that nice skin, no white skin to have a nice clean fish. When this is done we're going to take it out of the water, uh, pat it dry and put it on the tray so we can continue the prep. Once your fish has been uh, cleaned uh, under clear water and this is the fact that when we say pack dry is you use one of these little towels you make sure it's really really dry and this is because you're going to be handling the fish you see so you don't want it to be slippery or you know watery or anything like that so what you need to do here to prep up that fish is very simple with trout uh, is to remove you see all of these little the, all the fins so that one there's a little one here there's some here at the bottom some here below as well as you can see the little one here and the tail huh? so you can basically Go ahead, you take one of those, uh, just a, a simple uh, kitchen scissors, and you're just going to trim everything nicely. I've got a container here for the bin. And we're going to basically prep up the fish by removing all these extra bits and pieces. So it's very simple with a trout. This is why we use trout as a, you know, as a beginner level uh, to work with. So you basically go around the fish and cut all of the little fins until it's all nice and clean. When the job is done, 
you get a nicely prepped up fish. As you can see, the tail has been cut and there's no more fins anywhere. And that's gonna be nicely fitting in the pan. Once your fish is done, uh, you reserve it on a plate, put it in the fridge, and now it's time to chop the parsley. You got a bit of a head start here. It's always the same technique. Uh, you have your knife like this. You can put your hand on top and you can do that hacking motion like this on top of the parsley. Uh, so you gather everything together and you keep on doing that kind of chop, chop until all of your parsley is basically thinly sliced. When you're done, this is the kind of size we want. Huh? So as you can see, it's nice and thin, but not too, too thin. So keep it that way. When your parsley is done, huh, you reserve it in a bowl like that. And next is the lemon. Very simple, you take one lemon. The first one have to be juice. Huh? So you take a bowl. You take something like that. I absolutely love that tool. And it's just a matter of pressing the whole thing. So one lemon turn into juice. The second lemon has to be peeled, and we call that in France a pelé à vif. It's basically the act of peeling the lemon uh, really bare, like uh, I'll show you exactly. So you first remove the bottom of, of, of the lemon here. Uh, and if you want, you can also remove the top, okay, to make some kind of base. It has to be roughly kind of flat and straight. And you're going to try to basically use the knife and go around, you know that technique? You go around and really peel off if, as much as you can, all of the, um, you see all of the skin to expose the flesh. Uh, and you kind of uh, do that and repeat and try to remove everything like that. So that you can see where's the flesh bare like that. And then we're going to slice it. So that's called pelé à vif. Hold on. So when you're done and you've peeled your lemon, this is what you get. You see? Pelé à vif. And it's peeled and there's no traces of skin in between. So leave it like this and we're going to uh, slice it towards the end. And so reserve it like that in a little container on the side. The food preparation is now ready. Huh? So we've got the lemon juice, the lemon, flake almonds, chopped parsley, the flour, a little bit of butter and the cleaned trout. We can now move on to the next stage, which is cooking the trout. And now for the cooking. So before we cook the trout, very important, we need to coat it in flour. So you take all of the flour. A little bit, huh? don't overdo it, usually it's one of two tablespoons. And you're going to take your fish and gently roll it in huh? a bit everywhere. And then we're going to tap the excess of flour, which just adding a little layer of flour. Okay, so when your fish has got plenty of flour, you do this. Yeah, kind of tap it like that and all the excess is going to start to fly off. Uh, so you just want like this, a thin layer, not, not like uh, two centimeters thick of, of flour. And now let's cook uh, the trout. Now there's a very important thing to note here uh, concerning the pan uh, you're going to be using. As you can see here, this is a standard all-purpose home pan. Uh, it's a non-stick version. It's just a very large uh, round pan, you see, because that's the only thing I had, first of all. It's the only thing also that can fit uh, a fish, like the whole fish. And this is 30 centimeters in size, uh, about uh, 12 inches. And this is just to show you that, yes, you can do it with uh, the everyday utensils from home, like a pan, but it's not really suit for purpose. Usually, you have to use a fish pan, which is a kind of an oval a type of pan or a large rectangle. Uh, so when you, you put your fish, it can nicely fit in. The round pans are not very practical uh, for this, but I just wanted to purposely use that to show you that yes, you can still do it with the everyday pan. Now to cook the fish, you're going to start with a little bit of oil and all of the butter on a medium heat. And ideally you want to use one of those spatulas here. That's going to be very handy. And we're going to make sure there's plenty of butter and oil to cook our fish in. It's very important. Huh? So we're going to wait until it foams nicely and then add the fish in. Once your butter starts to foam, I've put some salt and pepper on my, on my trout here. And I'm going to place it in my pan. Now note that the head is on the left hand side like this. And the belly is pointing towards the top of the pan. This is because you only cook that fish on one side for about four minutes 
and then turn it on the other side for another four minutes. But when I'm going to be turning it, it is going to be on the good side that I'm going to presenting on the plate. And so you don't want to keep on turning the fish all the time. Very important. When the butter starts to chant like this, can you hear? See that noise? You start to count about four minutes for a standard size uh, a trout. And again, this is about 12 inches in size. Four minutes on one side and then we're going to turn it. And the key is not to burn your butter. So try to find the heat that's high enough to get the coloration you want, but also not too hot, so that your butter start to burn. When you're about a minute in or so, common practice is to take the butter and start to pour it over the fish like that, huh? to keep it nice and wet and start to have the butter everywhere. So I'm doing it with the wrong hand, so it's kind of awkward, but you got the idea. And so, like the professional restaurant, I make sure you use that butter to your advantage and they have a nice cooked fish. Okay, so about four minutes in, or a bit more, I, I'm putting my spatula under the fish, and at once, you see I'm turning it like that. That pan is not very, very uh, easy to work with. Burn a bit my finger, to be honest, when I touch the trout. But there we have it, we have a nice coloration, and then we go on for another four minutes on the other side. Four minutes after I turn my heat off uh, and my trout is ready, I'm going to just leave it here to rest and make the beurre noisette and that hazelnut butter and roast my almond very quickly before we can serve. So now that my fish is resting very quickly, I'm going to add a few almond flakes in here, just give them a little bit of color. And here in that pan, we're going to basically make what we call the hazelnut butter which is a butter that is just melted and we're going to get that slight color to it. And the reason we're doing this is because you don't really want to use the butter from the pan where the fish was, because it's going to be very fishy. Uh, you want to, uh, to use a very clean uh, type of butter for the finished product. My butter, as you can see, start to have some little brown uh, coloring in there. And that means that it is enough and the coloration is enough. You can turn the heat off and it's ready to serve. And now for the service of the fish, as you can see, uh, I've added the trout on here uh, uh, with the belly towards yourself uh, and you got the head on the left hand side. Uh, you always start with a little, bit of, a little bit of white wine, always good. And now for the construction of the Meunier uh, appellation, uh, very important. So you start with a little bit of lemon juice, not too much on the trout. Okay, that's step number one. Then you're going to go on and add some extra butter, which is the uh, hazelnut butter, generous amount. You're going to go after that with a little bit of parsley, parsley, sorry, but again, not too much, and just to decorate. And as an additional bit of decoration, you can add these slices of lemon that we had before uh, that you can put just like that actually it looks a bit old-fashioned i have to say so i just put two over there but you know two or three but basically you get the idea uh, and now we're ready to add the final touch which is the almond so at this stage what you see here this is the meunier version now let's add the almonds so you see, I did mention two recipes in one. This is the first stage with the meunier. And now if I add the almonds, uh, drizzle on top of the plate, uh, what you get here is simply what we call the truite aux amandes, which is an absolute French classic. So it's up to you to put how many almonds. But basically, all in all, in a nutshell, that's it. That's how you construct that simple recipe. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. And that completes the course for the day. And as always, of course, if you like the video, put it a like, drop me some comments. And if you want to support me, you can go further with tp.com. And you can tip me on tp.com or you can subscribe to Patreon. That always helps me to make more videos. So I hope you enjoyed the show and I see you all guys next time. Take care. Bye bye.